today we'll be talking about automation anyway part 11. So the presentation structure of this is first I'll go through the logging concepts then I'll do the coding I'll create a blogger bot and I'll be doing that. So main topics for today are logging and then if we have some time we'll also go through the long log monitoring tool that we'll use to uh, monitor the logs. So logging, why bot logging is needed? What's the purpose of logging? So anytime you run a bot, you would want to know what bot did. It's easy to know when you are watching a bot, but when it's running in QA, especially in prod, where you would not be watching a bot, it would be near Im nearly impossible to know what path and series of steps bot performed. This is especially important when you need to fix an issue and you have to debug the bot. Even in development, sometimes you have a long running bot who would not want to watch. That bot you can start and do your other work. Of course, your system will be tied unless you are running your bot in a separate bot runner machine. But when it's completed, you can analyze the logs to understand what the bot did and what it is expected to do. Sometimes you don't want to use message boxes or even debugger. You directly want to see the logs. And it can also be useful in auditing. Suppose your bot has run and after seven days you want to see what happened like seven days back. How did the bot do? What path it took? It will be very useful to audit that. So first thing in the log is the structure. So typically the file name for logging will be log underscore month date year. So it has one less y but it will be mmdd y y y y. And the other ways of logging is every time a bot runs, you create a log file. But this way, you have you keep one log for a day, and then if bot runs next day, it will create a next log with a different month date and year. So there will be some basic things that you would always need in a bot. So at what time you want to capture the time, the log level, the bot name, and the log message. Especially important here is log level along with other details. So you can have a info level or a debug level or you can have error or fatal. So how will you differentiate between all these four? So typically in an info you'll describe when the bot started, when it's ended, some milestones that bot has completed and those types of important steps. Then what you can add as a log level is debug. Suppose you are processing hundreds of record and there is some issue you want to analyze that. So debug will have all those IDs, details that you will need to fix the issue. And third is the error. So in the error, it's very important to have a right log message because you would want to know which line error occurred. So it should have at least a line number and the error message. So what line error occurred and what's the issue that's going on and how error is different from fatal is suppose you are processing 100 records and bot failed at 50th record and you know there's an issue with that line but with that record but next record would probably work fine so you log that as an error and move to next record but sometimes what can happen is that issue is such that it's fatal means you can't move to next record even if you move to next record it will still fail like you're moving file to a destination and destination folder is not there if if the website you need to process 50 record website is down those types of issues are fatal so you cannot recover from that best approach is to lock them to be analyzed further so we are right now in control room let's create a logger bot that will be used by other bots so i'll click on Create a new bot. Let's name it Logger Bot. Now let's drag log to file so that you can create a you can provide a file path and you can provide a text and then you can log to this path. So as per the format that we have discussed earlier, let's create some variables. Firstly, I'll create I S D R what name? That's the first variable I'll create. 
and this will be an input from the parent board so I'll keep check my input box here and then I'll create ISDR log file path I'll also make it as an input then I'll create third one it's called SDR log level also an input then I'll create another variable and say ISDR for log message that will also be an input okay so they, these four variables I've created and then other thing you need is the current date time that you'll put as a first entry in the log so let me create a private variable and we call it current date time as a string variable it's not an input at one and then let's you have str okay so now let's put the file path here so file path will be str log file path that will be an input from the main bot and then i'll have str current date time for the time then i'll have str log level and then i'll have str bot name then let me expand this a little bit then i'll have the fourth variable which will be the log message so it will be str log message okay so this is what we need now there are some other things that we have to make sure that doesn't create any problem firstly we need to check if the file exists so i'll drag an if so it should be in the action action if let me expand it otherwise pop up disturb it so if i drag if and i have to make sure that log file exists if it does not exist then what i will do is i'll create a log file if the file in this path istr log file part doesn't exist then I'll create a file so I'll go to file and let's create a file so file create and it will be istr log file path and this will be the full path including the log file name and let's also add a header so let's again add this log here to add a header I replace all these with the actual values that I want to put so it will be time let me remove this it will be time log level and then it will be bot name then log message okay now we have this piece dear current date time so I'll populate that. So let's do sign. Let's go to date time. Now let's do date time and see the direct entry, the string, to the variable system date time. And let's focus on what would be the format for this one. And the format would be mm dd y y y y and then r minute and second. So I'll assign this to PSTR current date time. Okay, so now we have everything we need. In order to unit test, let me add a section for unit testing. We understand. We'll disable that after testing. Say unit test. What I'll do, I'll map all these variables. Firstly, I will assign two things. So assign Let's assign the top level. Let's say info. Let's add a bot name, test bot. Then let's add a test log message. So I'll do it. I want to change it to a bot name okay then i need a file path this one what i'll do is i'll drag assign here to then i'll copy the 
So this is the place I'll be storing the logs. So I'll copy the path of the folder. We'll be logging it, and then we'll add. Let's add another variable and then assign it to ISDR log path. So the variable I'll be creating here is let's say B S T R log date. So let's put B S T R log date. Create that and let's get our date time that will assign to that. So let me date time convert system date time and that system date time and I'll just gather the month date and year. So what I'll do is mmtdyyyy and assign it to this dialog. So now I have unit test section and then where we are creating a clock path. So let's run it and see if it's able to run. Then we'll use this logger in a parent pot. So I've already put everything in unit test, no need to put here. Let's run it. Bot complete created. Let's go back to let me delete the other file. So if you open this, you see time log level bot name log message. It's so able to put a log message there. Uh, what we other thing what we can do is let's change the type and let's open this one so let's see how it looks in an excel format see time it's today's time with date time log level info bot name test log message log test message okay so this child bot is working as expected so let's leave it at that and let's create a let's disable this section now create a parent bot so this if you've seen my debugging video you might have seen the bot that I built there and we'll reuse that to demonstrate how we log in for debug error and fatal. So let me open that file. If you have not watched debug video, you can watch that. But here we'll be adding some logging based on what we have just built. So this is a bot fundamentally what it does. It moves all the file from one folder to other. So if you see just to recap, you've not seen that. So we have origin folder five files destination five let me remove all these five files what that bot will do remove all those five files from origin to destination so let's see so when the bot starts what i want to do is i want to log that bot has started so i'll drag run drag here i'll choose the logger bot that i have created it is for input bot name file path log level log message so this is what has started so i'll say what has started and log level will be info so i just want the information to be put in log file and the bot name would be aa task name you have to make note of point that this will capture the whole part till the bot name you can get just the bot name from from it by doing splitting of string and then you can get that so str file path let's put str file path as the same one that we had there so what i'll do is i will so let's assign the path there i'll search assign and then i'll assign the str log file path let's go to the sign let's drag that and let's drag it before we log so this will be the path for the folder so i'll go back to the logger folder copy this and put it here and then i will put log underscore hello bsdr log date that variable created so we'll create that 
let's create a variable PSTR log date str log date create it now we'll get the date time to string for this one so that we can get the value for that date time to string so we'll choose the variable date time and then we'll get the format format will be mm td y y y y and then it will be assigned to pstr log date this value will come here and this will be assigned to so the value that you have here would be assigned to pstr log file path so pstr log file path is not created we'll create that one too pstr log file path create that and assign that here so now see here so here we are getting the log date we are putting in the path that log file and they are calling logger so let's map this one pstr log file path so these are four variables the bot name log info path the log file path and the info the bot has started let's copy this and put it in the end let's say info bot has ended bot has ended now i'll run the bot and what i can do is let me remove the file from here and let me run the bot now you start call the logger and it's completed log time so let's go back to the logger to see let me rename it to csv so that we can see it in excel format open this see let's say that this time is log level info the bot name this along with the path and bot has started then at this time log level info bot this and bot has ended so we are able to capture info bot started and ended now let's go back and also do other logging level so you see this is a loop which is looping all the files in a folder so in order to debug i want to know which file is moving from origin to destination so what i'll do is here is i'll log the origin path and the destination path so what i'll do is I'll again so i'll just copy this one i'll put it here i'll say it's a debug level and moving file from this location so this is the origin let's go back here from to so i'll copy this i can copy in this file so this should also do so so i can use this one rather than putting the whole path i can just say from the destination or from this origin i'll just put it here i'll say moving file from pstr file pstr folder path origin to pstr to folder path destination this will capture folder path origin to folder path destination okay so let's go back here and it will be debug any time file moves so it will have origin and the destination okay when i run this i'll have info along with debug so let's run this we can remove this file in there it's okay and let's let me rename it to csv yes open the file you see if you expand it you'll see info what has started debug file from 
this file has moved to the destination line one, two, three, four, five, but for debugging. So this is useful information. You can see the logs and find that out. Now let me close this one, delete this one, and let's also do error log. I want to log if any error happens. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll add a try catch here. So try catch in this block and I'll move all of this in try. And as soon as the error occurred, I'll log that error has occurred. See, the yeah, only thing it will be error and then log message will be. So as soon as there's error in try, we can assign some variables here. So I'll create two variables, one for the error message, one for the error try number. I'll say PSTR error message like that and I'll create one more to say PSTR error line number the number type variable. So the error scenario we're covering is assuming that uh, suppose the file which bot expects to be here is not here. So let me rename this file to be temp so what we look through and try to find third file, it will not find it. Let me also change the message here. So log level will be error, but the message will be error occurred at p num line number dot num to the string. Let me expand it a bit and I'll say error message is p s t r error message save it so the file is not here the third file it will looking it will be looking for we remove all the files from destination too so let's go let's run the bot let me also delete the logger file if i run it So bot completed, if you go to log, so let me open it in notepad and see it better. Uh, let me drag it, so let's see here. So first file, no find, second file, no find, third file is trying to move, but then unable to copy that third file that's why you see that error verify the file path and try again fourth file went fine first file went fine so you can see info debug but there's one error by which if you're proud you cannot see what's going on you can fix your code or you can fix the files and close this now look at a scenario for fatal error so suppose a scenario happens where the origin folder this part is looping doesn't exist so let me come to the origin folder let's rename it to one so if this scenario happens then let me close the files and let me rename it to one so if this folder doesn't exist bot can't do anything because it can't find any of the files there so let me add a try catch on top of the loop so what i'll do is i'll move loop inside this try catch and let's create or let's reuse the same variables str error message error line number and if this happens let me copy the logger error so i'll say the fatal error has happened and then I can reuse the same thing, just a fatal error. So let's suppose I run this bot now. So if I run the bot, so bot will not be able to find that. This is more completed, but if you go to logger and you'll see fatal the directory origin does not exist enter a valid directory 
and since it is logging on top of what's already logged in I can just delete this one to show you how the clean log will look so rerun the bot again bot completed and if you open the log then you say bot started bot ended and there is the fatal error it says the directory does not exist please enter well directory and why it is fatal because if directory doesn't exist then bot cannot move any of the files so these all scenarios of bot logging info debug error and fatal captured the demo that i did hopefully this helped you thanks a lot bye bye